I'd lived in Phoenix, in New York, in Bangkok, in London, and Bennington was the place where we wanted to raise our kids. We knew that the moment we stepped into North Bennington, which is where we live now, and are thrilled to be there with our kids where they can uh, run around and get to know everybody who lives in the town and really enjoy all the amenities. So, and when I stepped onto the college and met the students here, it was clear to me that this was the place for me. In addition to the physical beauty of Bennington, both the college and the surrounding area, the incredible creativity of the students here at Bennington College just blew me away. The extent to which they are entrepreneurial, free-thinking, innovative, and really Bennington College is a place where they can let their genius run free. And to me, that is the highest form of higher education. Bennington College was founded as a place that is focused on being a living laboratory for students and for the surrounding area. The college was actually founded by the town because the town wanted a higher education presence. Not a lot of places can say that. And that gives us a really special mandate and a really special relationship with the town. Uh, it is no longer the case that students, certainly Bennington students, want to be in the ivory tower and just be in their books all day. They do that, of course. They study really hard and they work very hard. Uh, but they want to be engaged in what goes on in this community, in their community. So for example, my kids this past year spent a lot of time at a preschool playgroup at the Vermont Arts Exchange, which is just down the road from us. And that kind of entrepreneurial activity, working together, is a big piece of what the college is all about. The students bringing their experience as undergraduates, as artists, as creators, as people starting new businesses, out into the community and working with the community to really understand what it takes to make a go of things out in the world. Through the lens of my family, one of the first things we did when we moved here, because it was blueberry season, is we went out to, with my two-year-old and my baby, to uh, a pick-your-own blueberry farm. And just being able to do those kinds of things, being out in the fresh air, and it is fresh air, uh, and being out in the community, participating with all of the, the art making and the incredible farm-to-table food that's here, and working with the local community to think about what the best future is for Bennington has been an incredible experience. Meanwhile, my children will be going to preschool next year where they're gonna have the benefit not only of the incredible uh, opportunities that are available already in Bennington, but also as they move into grade school, the programs that we're building together between the local grade school and the college, for example, to make sure that French and Spanish immersion, and maybe other languages as well in the future, are available to kids at the grade school level at the moment when their brains are most primed to receive new languages, at the moment when it is most crucial in brain development for them to be exposed to new languages. So the ways that we can work together with the community to build the capabilities of the community and of the college are myriad and incredibly exciting. We see increasingly whether we're thinking about Richard Florida's creative class or we're thinking about all of the things that have come since then and the research and what we know about what attracts people to places as locations to live and work and what makes communities conducive to doing business and to producing great products, whether those are service products or physical products. And one of the things that we have here in Bennington is an intense creativity, whether it's about making the best bread growing the best produce for farm-to-table dinners or the best farmer's market, or whether it's thinking about the composite industry and how 3D printing can bring us into a whole new era of manufacturing. Um, that's an area, for example, where we're working, a, a faculty member at the college, a group of students, and one of the composite companies here is working on a new project to think about what kind of products we can make. And it's that kind of creativity, it's the spark of bringing together multiple communities in addition to all of the things that have to go into a decision about locating a business that can really make the difference between keeping going and, and uh, sustaining your work and really making a big splash and, and coming up with innovative ways to do things that the market has never seen before. Well, I think the way that Bennington College fits into the community is changing. And we want it to change, not because it wasn't good before, but because there's always more to do. And to me, where whether it's a college or any other big institution in the community can fall down in, in terms of community relations is when we think about it as static. We only do these things because these are the things that we've always done. I think the other place where we can fall down as an institution is kind of coming down from the hill and saying, here's what we think the community needs. Instead, what we have with the community of Bennington is a real integrated dialogue where we're thinking together 
and talking together about what the future of this community is and the ways in which the college is part of the community. The other piece of what Bennington College obviously brings is incredible cultural resources, whether it's our student performances, our visiting lecturers and performers, or our alumni coming back, whether it's our two Pulitzer Prize winners this year coming back to do readings, our MFA program, which is going on right now, our MFA program in writing, where we have incredible authors, Amy Hempel, Ben Anastas, and others on our faculty, and they're coming here to do readings. All of those readings are open to the public. We're going to have a show in our gallery this summer that will be affiliated with the show at the Clark and affiliated with shows in Williamstown focusing on uh, early modern art. And Bennington was, Bennington College and Bennington the Town, was a real cradle of, early, of one of the early modern art movements. So you can come here, you can see that work, you can see how that legacy is extended into the work that our students and faculty do today. So you can go to MoMA, Museum of Modern Art in New York City, and you can see the work of our faculty members. You can also come here and see what they're doing today. So you can go to the Walker Art Center and see what our faculty have put in their permanent collection at, at the Walker, at MoMA, at Whitney, in New York City. You should go see all those things, but you also can come here to where that work is made and really understand what the process is. So if you're a member of this community, these people are a member of your community. And in terms of the relationship with the community, as I said, it's ever evolving. And even the physical relationship with the community is ever evolving. Of course, our students are out and about in town, whether it's North Bennington or Bennington proper. And one of the things that we're doing is working to make the physical aspects of Bennington College much more accessible to people. So we are putting in, we already have hiking trails, we're putting in bike trails, we're opening up the gate uh, for bikes so that people who come to walk their dogs, with whom there are many, many, uh, can park more easily. And really to make this campus an asset, a physical asset for the community in addition to being a cultural asset for the community. Well, students love coming here. Uh, one of the things that we've done in the past few years is the students restarted a farm on campus, uh, that there was a farm here long ago, there was a farm here during the war. It's one of the areas of fondest memory for a number of our alumni. And the students here were motivated by what they see around them and the incredible beauty that's here. And they wanted to really um, integrate with the land and the landscape. So they've been working on hiking trails, they've been working on the farm, they sell their produce at the farmer's market in town, and they've been working on a number of local farms as well. So the the integration of sustainability and environmental principles into the lifeblood of the college has been a major push from students, thrilled to have it as the president of the institution. It's something we are deeply committed to. Uh, and we've been working with students to make sure that those values are pervasive in everything that we do. When you think about who is the ideal Bennington College student, uh, the ideal Bennington College student is deeply curious and thinking broadly about the different ways in which, whether it's multiple disciplines, multiple experience, including, for example, our fieldwork term experience. So every winter, every year of your Bennington College experience, if you are an undergraduate student here, you go out to work in the world. A number of those students stay in Vermont to work. They work at local businesses. They work at local cultural institutions. A number of them go scattered to the four winds and the four corners of the earth. They go to Nepal. They go to Uruguay. They go to Guatemala. They go to China. Uh, but they bring all of that experience back here when they come back after those seven weeks out in the world. So the ideal Bennington College student is entrepreneurial in the purest sense. They are self-starters. They are people who are driven by ideas, but driven by ideas to go out and do work in the world. So I like to think of Bennington, uh, Gateway is a great way to put it, but it's also a hub. It's a hub and a network of experiences that together build the education that you get here. It also is a hub and a network of experiences that together help to feed the community that's here. As our students are out in the community, whether they're working at the local bakery, the local farm, or the local law office, they're bringing that experience in China, they're bringing that experience in Guatemala, they're bringing that experience in New York City to bear as they talk with local businesses, local arts organizations, uh, and beyond. As they work with the kids in the local schools, they are bringing that experience and that perspective to bear. So in that sense, Bennington is a gateway to the world, the college is a gateway to the world, and also a hub. At the same time, what we see here is that through our role as a cultural institution within the community, not just for our own students, although of course they are our focus, 
but also for the larger community. We are bringing people from around the world, modern dancers from China, incredible curators from the Museum of Modern Art, the Orange County Museum, the, the president of the Los Angeles Philharmonic. Those people are coming here to talk about the work that they do in the world and to show the work they do in the world. So it's a resource for the students, but it's also a resource for the faculty and a resource for the community. So it's a way for us to bring the world to bear on the education of Bennington students and also to bear on the culture of the place in which we love to live.